back to my channel. I am T Hunter. This is Yan Hunter. Why the music? Just Yan. It's cool. AKA. Oh yeah, yeah, hubby. And everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you know. We're not brother and sister. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So uh, today's video is going to be. Um, I guess just about our love story. Mm. I don't know how much of it we're going to go into, but I definitely wanted to start with um, how we met and how that blossomed into us being friends and then mm -hmm. later on becoming more. So mm -hmm. since I do a lot of the talking in my video, whether it be a voiceover or you actually seeing me talk, I guess I will actually give you the lead on this one. So Yeah, so... I was it I was young and didn't remember a lot, but it's it's amazing to me how every time she tells me the story of like uh, when we were at New Life in Richmond and uh she asked me like what's your name? I was like, I think I said Yanje. And so I think that was it. <laughs> and she didn't tell me her name. <laughs> and every time she tells me that story, I'm like, dang man, like I was how old was that? We're not going to disclose that. Okay, well, you know, I, I was young. And now I'm old. But, uh, yeah, it was it was like, I guess things were moving so fast for me back then um, as a child and stuff. Like, with my dad having a church and the school and going from classroom to classroom and then going to um, Auntie, Auntie Betty's. Yeah. Um, I was over there a majority of the time. And mm -hmm. so, anyway, so going between there and classroom and church and back to Betty's and back home and stuff. So I just, it's amazing that um, she she remembered every detail about that. And I was just like, yeah, my name's Yanjay now. What about, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I was super young, like, don't remember how old I was, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah. um, amazing. Amazing. So that's the... The first encounter. Right. The first encounter. I wow. was so nervous that I had this terrible thing in the past. I was so socially awkward that if I liked you, um, I would basically act like I didn't. So this way I could have the courage to speak to you because then it's like, well, I don't like you. So mm -hmm. there's no need for me to be nervous. And in doing all of that, when I asked him his name and he told me, I said, okay. And then I walked off. <laughs> <laughs> so in hindsight, I, yeah, in hindsight, it's like, why wouldn't you tell him your name when you're introducing yourself to someone or trying to get to know someone? Mm. What's your name? My name is, no, that, mm. that piece wasn't, that piece wasn't there. Uh, chain was broken somewhere. Oh man. So yeah, no, yeah. I was missing a link. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even like, hi, what's your name? It was like, what's your name? Okay. Oh, it's your name? All right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, and unfortunately, that was the hype that I, that I used to be on. Mm -hmm. If I really liked someone, that was the only way that I could communicate to them. I had to be hard. Mm -hmm. Doing the most. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank God for change. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, on my part, too. For sure. At least you told me your name. <laughs> well, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was the first encounter. Um, um, we've been friends for about 20 years at this point. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, in addition to, you know, dating and then getting married, we maintained a friendship. And we really got close... Was that right before you went to college, or would you say we got closer after I was in grad school? Probably grad school. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that was like the the most consistent. I, I feel like we talked. Sorry if the camera is shaking. We're oh. trying not to touch the foundation, but rum, rum, rum. <laughs> you can put a sound effect right there. And find an earthquake, something. Uh, find a clip of Will Smith hollering earthquake, maybe. Something. Yeah. Yeah, I say that's like the most. Consistent maybe the most consistent but we talk like you know throughout those years and stuff and mm -hmm. um we were mainly like talking about um just how we were and where we were and maybe who we were talking to at the time yeah 
kind of like that and kind of comparing notes and comparing like mm -hmm. you know what was what was going on at that time and so we kind of got to see each other um, in a very transparent way mm -hmm. um, which is probably the unusual route maybe or maybe the uncommon route for people who date they kind of just they're into each other and you just pursue each other and that's kind of it and that's perfect but we kind of like started out with like man this person did this and then they came to me like this and I'm like what they said that bro and i was like yo just tell them or just don't say nothing like yes. just just cut off <laughs> just cut off all the pet names and all that just be like yo oh, i specifically remember that um <laughs> <laughs> there was an incident where i was supposed to hang out with someone and mm -hmm there was a possibility that they were not going to be available. Mm -hmm. And so I was waiting for the, yes, it's a green light, or no, we're going to have to reschedule. And so the day of comes along, and almost half the day goes by before I finally get that, not going to be able to make it, something mm -hmm. else came up. And I was so frustrated. Extra and I was, life, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was texting him like, yeah, you know, we were supposed to hang out or whatever. I, you know, tried to, you know, back all the way off and leave the ball in this other person's court you take the initiative if you want to hang out you know you schedule it so this way i know that you're actually available i'm not making plans and then you're canceling on me so when i told him what had happened he said oh yeah so like he said this is what you do if you have any pet names just don't go by pet names call them by their regular names trust me yeah. we hate that as guys and i was thinking oh this is Putting actually pretty cool game bro like <laughs> on serious game like <laughs> From a dude's perspective, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, it cuts different, like, when you know how to get a dude's attention by not giving him that wow factor about <laughs> the whatever was going on. And, yeah, like, when you cut so. that off, we could pick up on it and be like, yo, what's up, then? But anyway. Yeah. And that's when you probably get the you straight. Uh, pretty much. Just the two word, just what's up? Uh-huh. Yeah. Bet. <laughs> cool right on cool deal that's my that was my classic at the time yeah cool deal <laughs> cool deal oh gosh yeah cool deal would probably get you in some hot water <laughs> yeah don't that's <laughs> i'll never ever yeah. text her now and be like cool deal. yeah i mean like well it's one of those situations where it's like what do they call it like the black folk slang when you say you straight yeah that can mean like so many different 20 things. different things so yeah you need an interpreter for that one yeah a that's, thesaurus because there's so many different meanings to those two word answers yeah so that's, there can be yeah it's like the baseline of the friendship really and then connected through uh her brother a mutual friend and mm -hmm. um and just we will all kind of like get together and like you know go to church or maybe go to a movie and um we just got it was just commonplace for us to all to be together it was you know like the three of us the three musketeers so three musketeers. it was really a um a common thing and so we mm -hmm. just got used to being around each other's company and kind of you know there was a certain level of comfortability but also like a, just a respect factor like because i respected her brother so much um, i respected her so it was just different like um you know when we get to the transition part like before then like i always had like just a different type of respect for her and mm -hmm. like if i were to talk to somebody or if i was interested in someone you know i wouldn't be a douchebag or nothing but like with her it was, it was just extremely delicate and very I had to be very strategic and very clear because of like our friendship. So you can't just say like, yo, I'm feeling you. You'd be like, yeah, okay. It's like, no, pause. I'm saying <laughs> to you, <laughs> I'm feeling you like the other type of way because like I made a, uh, I kind of, it was, it was on me. I, I sort of established like this brother and sister thing like the the cliche what's up bro what's up sis and then you'd be like mm, i don't know if that's just bro but <laughs> it was just like all right it was more like i called her that out of like the respect for a brother opposed to like me seeing her as like just like an independent type sister it was just more like 
I know your brother, your brother and I are close, so I guess when here goes the camera again, the rumble effect. And then uh Right, because um it was soul crushing. Yeah, yeah for yeah, me. But... <laughs> so... See that that was the thing I did not well, I mean I know what that I said in order for me to speak to someone that I liked or had a crush on, I had to be really hard and pretend that I didn't like them. Um so clearly if anyone were to ask who liked who first, it was me. And I concealed those feelings for mm. years because of the friendship that he had with my brother. Mm. So when he was um, preparing to go off to college, we had hung out, me, my brother, his sister, his grandfather, mm. grandmother, and his parents. And as we were leaving the restaurant to figure out our next move, he says, you're always going to be my big little sis. And I was like, oh, that's worse than being friend zoned. Mm. Can't get out of that one. Yeah. But never say never. Yeah, it was, it was just crazy. Like, just we were talking not too long ago, maybe even like last week, last weekend. I was like, no, it's funny how the experience is like different on both parties to a certain extent. Like, it's, it was just different. So, perception and, and like what one faces in that or what, whatever the reality is is definitely valid even if it's not your reality like their reality is valid too mm -hmm. so that's something that even as of late like i really had to not overlook and not just blaze past so yeah um that baseline was mm -hmm. was interesting but yeah um, and it's good that you mentioned being very strategic, you know, slowing the process down because sometimes we can get in our feelings and we can get so stuck into our thoughts and our perception of reality that we don't take the time to figure out how the other person feels and how they're yeah. viewing things. So to say, no, really pause. I like you. And I'm not saying I like you as a person. I'm saying that I like you romantically. Mm -hmm. And if there were a chance what would you want to see happen? So being that, that, um, what word am I looking for? Being that specific and being that clear mm -hmm. can mean the difference between, I yeah. guess like, you know, a text message conversation, if that's how you're doing it or over the phone, like, you know, just making sure that you cut through all the confusion, make it very clear, basically break it down so that it will always and forever be broken. Shameless plug. Hey. All in my yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have to insert a clip of that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was in the right tempo, I think. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe so. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we get it to line up. We, mm -hmm. we got a we got these feelings. <laughs> it's slow motion, right? We got these feelings. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> 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 you know the slow motion turns that you in the intros for concerts yeah anyways getting off track mm -hmm. um so what next i guess the transition really okay and the transition period. transition yeah um the funny thing is like uh the power of life and death really is <laughs> in your tongue and you will have what you say um so i call summer of 2011 my summer of shenanigans because i made a lot of interesting choices when it came to romantic situationships and once all of those were said and done um i said to myself i'm getting out of california because my husband is not here huh. and i'm tired of all these dudes here in um <laughs> in the bay area so um i was applying for graduate school and i was willing to go wherever to make sure that i could get my degree um mm -hmm. i wasn't too stuck on staying in california because i've lived here all of my life i applied to several schools in houston one in chicago and i think two out here two or three out here and then one in dc Ultimately, I decided to roll with Chicago, and I was accepted mm. in, in 2012. And it's funny because he was actually out of state and coming back in 2012 as I was leaving the state in 2012. Yep. So, yeah. Um, 
I guess like, you know, shameless plug as far as higher education is concerned, wherever you have to go to get your degree, whether you decide to settle there, you know, lay your roots in another state or stay wherever you are, yeah. you know, do what you have to do. Whatever you want to do as far as your dreams are concerned, don't be so concerned about having to leave. You can always come back. Your guys is the same. So. Get your education locations. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Do it. Go for it. Like Be willing to move, especially before you are married and before you have children. If you can have that experience, do it. Yeah. Yeah, it was... I actually remember when you texted and I was getting back and she was saying no. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Fighting in your well, God.